It's the 28th of November 2014. Here I'm in Shanghai, above the sea. That's what it means in Chinese. So I'm on Nanjing Street. As you can see, it's very cosmopolitan. These chaps from the subcontinent there. Um, oh, and what a lovely little doggy. I'll see this puppy coming along. I like that bow wow. Oh, we've got these Chinese breeds. I can't remember what that one's called, but well dressed for the weather. It's actually not that chilly. And look, Christmas Wonderland. They got Christmas stuff up here. There's Santa Claus. Where's Rudolph? Well, I can't make him out. None of them has a, got a red nose. Anyhow, um, so yeah, Christmas spirit is beginning to hit. And I like the way Christmas doesn't begin here in October, like it does in the British Isles. Look at that, for, uh, for a building, the double spires. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know what this one's called. So the skyline is uh, quite breathtaking. The building's 40 stories high, nothing unusual. Now I keep getting approached by pimp saying lady massage or whatever. Sometimes these are women's, maybe I should call them mama son. They're not sexy ones themselves. But you can almost tell them, the people who come up to you, because they look a bit battered. You can tell they're on the edge of the criminal underworld. They've kind of been through it. Slurred speech, you know, uh, mouth drooping to one side. The odd shiner on the face, missing a few teeth. Something raffish and, uh, you know, sinister about them. Uh, oh yeah, more Christmas stuff here, but they haven't overdone it because it's not really their festival. Their big thing is Chinese New Year, which is this year is roughly 8th of February. Okay, look at that over there. Now that's the HSBC building, methinks, and it's going to be a pearl, that bauble on the spire, um, because this is the pearl of the Orient. That's the nickname for Shanghai. The other super K is the um, head of the dragon. Surprisingly, this is the head of the dragon, whereas um, Beijing is the heart of the dragon. You would have thought Beijing would be the capital the other way around. Beijing, northern capital. Nanjing, southern capital. So you can break down Chinese place names quite easily. They're often very literal, often quite repetitive and so on. Okay, so uh, as a formerly a communist country, and uh, you can see this is about the most capitalist street ever. I like of a pedestrian street, there's sort of a toy train that comes through. So I'm, I'm you know, walking around, trying not to be too slow, I don't want to make it easy to pickpocket me. Don't think much of that happens, but you know, a lot of crime does. People are lured into, um, into what they think are brothels, and rather than get a humping, they get a thumping, uh, unless they hand over their cash. There is your, there, there's the choo-choo trains I was talking about. Okay, the sea is that away. The Bund, where I was a while ago. A woman came up to me last night saying, will you take a photo with me? But I thought, oh fuck. She's trying, to, she's trying to lure me into something, so I said, no thanks. I just say a very loud no to those who offer me to go for a sexy massage. I'll switch it off now.